Hi there YouTube. Right, what I'm going to look at today is this power supply unit. I got this off uh, eBay for around 20 quid. And it's uh, 5 volts, 70 amp, 8 put. So 5 volts, 70 amp. Now on the listing, it said item location Hong Kong. So I thought it's going to be a pile of junk, but I thought I'm going to, I am gonna. need basically uh, a low voltage, high current power supply for some uh, electrolysis. Of course, electrolysis, single cell electrolysis operate between 4 and 6 volts at uh, quite a high current. So it doesn't have to be anything special. You know, it doesn't matter if the output's got a lot of ripple on it, it's, just, it's electrolysis, I'm not going to be powering anything sensitive electrically off it. So uh, I thought, oh, it'll take about three weeks to get here, and uh, strange. Two days later, it turned up in the post, and I was like, what? From, well, from Hong Kong? And the eBay listing did say Hong Kong. Well, this packaging, delivered by Royal Mail, there's my address taped over, and it's got no custom declaration on it, so this must have been shipped from within the UK, so that's a, that's a new one on me, so I'm presuming like the, uh, the seller must have an outlet in the UK, I don't know, but anyway, <clears throat> so when it came I thought it was going to be a pile of junk. I did notice it's got it's fan cool because it's got a 70 amp output and it's got this power supply. It's built in fan on off control circuitry. So basically, when it over when it, if it warms up, the fan will kick in. So it's a, a kind of fan on demand application. It's switchable between uh, 220 to 110. In fact, it's got the ratings on the side. It's uh, input 110, 120, 60 hertz, 200, 240 volts, 50 hertz. So, I've already taken the screws out, so let's take a look inside. And get the cover off. Let's see that works there. Fan disconnects by a small switch. Switch, Molex connector. The fan's probably a cheap generic DC brushless fan, 5 volts, 0.34 amps. So, typical 1mm aluminium construction. So, it's quite flimsy, but for 20 quid, you can't argue. But when I first took the cover off, I was really surprised because usually these type of power supplies they come with that cheap and nasty uh, circuit board material. But this is actually a high quality, I'll say, not say high quality, but a fairly good quality uh, fiberglass. And you can see the uh, traces underneath. So obviously, we've got a built in fuse there, which looks a bit, but 20 quid. Filtering's not brilliant. You've got a, is it an X2? Yeah, X2, 275 volt capacitor, common modes of pressure. So footprint there for another capacitor which hasn't been used. There's markings there for a heat sink which hasn't been used, but it's not going to draw that many amps on the uh, on the main side anyway. Two uh, filter caps, 200 volts, KDC brand. I've never heard of them. 680 microfarads, and they're using two in series. And the reason why they do this is because this switch, when it switches to 210 volts it uses only two of the diodes in the bridge rectifier in conjunction with the two capacitors and it makes a voltage doubler so the the input drop the input circ dc circuitry is actually the same voltage whether that's on 110 or 220 volts so it, it all it's basically it's a cheap way of uh, producing one product that can be switched between two voltages quite easily uh, there's a chip there with, I can see if there's a number on that actually. I'll just hold it off, off camera for a moment. It's LD7575PN. I'm not sure what that is, but that's the only IC I can see on here. There's a opto isolator. Now I'm not going to take the board out to look at the, the the clearance between the uh, main side and the output side. There's an RU, RU uh, 
approval there. And to be honest, the quality of construction isn't that bad. I mean, for what I'm going to be using it for, it's going to be quite adequate. But you get a lot of these and uh, you, you take the lid off them and it's like, oh, no way, I'm not connecting that up to the mains. But uh, yeah. Like the, like the uh, pinning on this, you've got your live, neutral, then you've got your earth there, or ground, and then you've got your eight bus. You've got three terminals for the positive, three terminals for the negative. Of course, 70 amps, you're going to need probably uh, 1.5 millimeter square, 15 gauge cable for that, and then multiply them by three. And that should just about handle the current. Also, the other thing I noticed quite interesting are these jumpers here. Now, I don't know if you can see on camera, but you can see the copper traces there. And what these jumpers are, they're not, they're basically they're just there to reinforce the current capability of the uh, the traces underneath, which is quite a nice feature. Because uh, usually what they do is they'll just gob loads of solder on the uh, traces and sometimes like layer wire. But no, they've actually gone to the bother of drilling extra holes and putting proper jumpers in, which is quite a good thing. Uh, Three eight book capacitors. There's a footprint there for another eight book capacitor, but it's got a resistor in it. So, switch mode power supplies do have to have a very very slight load on them to, to make them stable. So I think what they've done there, they've just uh, not bothered putting an extra capacitor in for three and three's enough, and then put the resistor there. But there is a footprint for another resistor there. So if you buy one of these and the eight puts a bit. A bit much ripple you could always put that resistor there and put an extra capacitor in which is a nice feature and on the uh, eight put suppression choke this uh, this is on the negative I believe yes is it negative yes negative they've doubled up and they've used four looks like 15 gauge wire so that's adequate really for that sort of current we have two there in I believe they're in parallel uh, shocky uh, diodes I know, I know they're diodes because the two of the legs are joined together and I can see from the traces that they're paralleled up so that's to increase the current capabilities we've got another device there, that's probably some sort of switching MOSFET for the, uh, the primary so all in all it's not a bad quality power supply it's, uh, you know, I mean it, it's going to do its job for uh, splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen because that's all I'm going to use it for so yeah, uh, I will put a link to the uh, eBay listing. Like I said, it's got item location Hong Kong, but this was shipped for, definitely from the UK. So uh, yeah, all in all, see you later.